he flows from hot to cold. Pretty simple. Um, if you have a cold drink, <laughs> after a while it'll be a warm drink. A room temperature, he always travels from hot to cold. Okay, He always travels from hot to cold. To warm a person. If you want to warm somebody, you're going to have to add heat. You add heat. To cool somebody, what do you think I got to do? You have to remove heat. Remove heat. Okay. Um, a large amount of energy is absorbed when you actually change a liquid um, to a vapor. When you actually boil that water, you're actually creating a lot of heat there in that that um, happening. A lot of energy is, heat is absorbed in that vapor. Um, so when you change the state there, um, a large amount of heat is released when a vapor changes a state to a liquid. So he takes a lot of heat to make a vapor, it loses a lot of heat when we go to a liquid there. Compressing a gas, if we have a container of gas, let's just make this container right here. Again, this is a container of vapor. So that's what Instead of here is just vapor, 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 vapor. It's just vapor, okay? If we sit and we actually compress this, this vapor right here, we had a lid, and I put this right here, zero PSI, all right? But that's at zero PSI right now, it's not compressed. But as we compress this, in this closed container here, we're actually compressing this vapor. Um, and as you compress a vapor, <laughs> it concentrates the heat and increases the temperature. So as we increase pressure, we increase temperature. Um, so if we increase pressure, so if we increase pressure, well, I just wrote that off the board there. Increase pressure, increase in temperature. And my computer just froze up.